uh, to prepare this uh, no performance uh, maybe due to uh, as usual uh, it's not enough time and there are other obstacles uh, but uh, what is really um, interesting this term of uh, easiness of simplicity it's almost everywhere uh, everyone tells us that Kubernetes is easy. Uh, then people start in, to talk that no, Kubernetes isn't easy. Nomad is easier. Let's uh, use Nomad. Uh, you know, uh, we with Sergey <clears throat> decided to. Uh, to dig deeper uh, and figure out uh, what is really uh, easier and uh, um, is it about simplicity at all? Uh, I would say I was disappointed because uh, I was disappointed. Uh, dis uh, I'm disappointed for a long time actually because uh, it is not really simple. To, uh, to get uh, the knowledge of Kubernetes uh, to master it. Uh, maybe it's easy with Nomad. Uh, okay, let's find out. Uh, I'm gonna have to share my screen and uh, uh, I really don't want to do this really time, uh, really long. So let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, here is my PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kubernetes versus Nomad. Why is it name uh, like, like this in the eyes of newbie? Um, despite the fact that Kubernetes is here for, for a long time uh, already, um, many people still uh, still are newbie, are still newbie, and uh, uh, they want to learn uh, Kubernetes, Nomad, and all that stuff, but uh, it is, uh, it's becoming even more harder uh, because a new technology is still uh, emerging and uh, we all search uh, we all want to find uh, the our our silver bullet and uh, mm, many people said that kubernetes is what everything that you need um, maybe uh, it is um, maybe i am not right but Maybe it is, maybe Kubernetes is easier. Okay, uh, let's, let's switch to the next slide. It's about agenda. Uh, we are going to uh, speak uh, and uh, do things uh, with screen sharing even more uh, than uh, showing slides uh, with uh, some configs and uh, um, you know, uh, lists, uh, bullet point list and so on. Uh, it is not really important here because uh, everyone uh, can read and uh, you, you read uh, a lot, I, I'm sure. And um, you should know what is uh, Nomad already and uh, at least you should know what is HashiCorp and uh, products uh, they supply. Uh, okay, we are going to do really simple things. Uh, like um, we decided to, uh, to <clears throat> concentrate our efforts on um, workload, environment uh, some workload uh, some demo workload with uh, and do this in comparison uh, with each other uh, like what if we want to deploy the same workload uh, to kubernetes and to nomad how it is uh, how easy it is uh, so 
let's start with some quick overview and uh, then we introduce this workload and local environment and how to deploy it. Uh, we should, I, we need to apologize. We weren't, we weren't, we didn't have really uh, time to master these slides. Anyway, uh, let's start. Um, Kubernetes um, is a container management tool. Uh, while Nomad isn't really the same, Nomad uh, focus uh, on a smaller scope. Uh, it uh, cannot um, achieve everything that you can do with Kubernetes. And uh, this fact uh, makes the difference actually, uh, because while Kubernetes is uh, really uh, feature-rich and uh, impossible to learn due to this fact, uh, Nomad uh, seems easier uh, to, to learn and start to use. Um, yes, uh, this is the case in, when you know uh, what is console, what is vault, and how to uh, connect them to each other and how to benefit from the whole um, ecosystem of the uh, HashiCorp, uh, how it named, um, really often it's HashiStack. Uh, okay, um, so parts. Uh, as you can see, Kubernetes on the left side is boring. Uh, Nomad on the right side uh, is boring too, uh, but uh, what is really uh, important? You need console, you need vault to uh, get the service discovery, service mesh and secret management as well. So uh, all this stuff, uh, cannot be uh, achieved by a nomad only. Uh, so, uh, if someone tell tells you tell you that he can use nomad uh, and don't use Kubernetes because nomad can do the same, uh, it's not really true. Kubernetes uh, nomad is able to do things uh, that are seem like uh, Kubernetes things, uh, but under the hood, it, uh, it runs uh, with all the HashiStack stuff. Uh, and it is not so far from the Kubernetes because Kubernetes uh, under the hood uses uh, even more different uh, things. So I would say both uh, tools, both these systems are about integrations and collaborations and all this, uh, all these words. Uh, I mean, it is not a single or um, standalone thing. And uh, what I, what I had possible to figure out, uh, to realize, uh, as a standalone tool, Nomad is uh, good for cluster management, but basically it is like a Jenkins stuff because uh, you can set up a one node uh, and name it a cluster and then start to add other nodes uh, that would become slaves uh, and uh, your cluster will be expanded. You get more um, resources and you can schedule your workload and uh, spread it uh, among these resources. Basically, 
Jenkins do the same stuff. Anyway, it it uh, can't uh, do the synchronization, and it but it can do the job um, scheduling. Maybe not so well, not so very well, but. Uh, it is not Jenkins and it, it is not about it. Uh, okay, so I let's see what we what will we will do. Uh, it is really easy workload. It is it really simple workload. It is basically an example from the uh, um, HashiCorp uh, and the Kubernetes organization. Uh, like a hello world you get uh you have a some database ser database server and uh, this actually mean you need persistent volume for it because database should be uh, uh should survive uh the data should should be uh should be safe uh whatever happened okay and uh this uh, we are going to deploy one database and do um, engine, which is simple WordPress. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, we are going to have two replicas, and uh, we will go. We are going to see uh, will it work and uh, will it be reliable. Some uh, network isolation considerations. Uh, some are here, some are not. Uh, ingress controller is a load balancer. You know what is it? But let's jump to the uh, some um, real stuff. And uh, here I would like to pass the word to the Sergey. Uh, Sergey, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, so hello. Uh, I want to discuss about uh, this uh, small workload. Uh, for uh, this small, uh, we will use uh, Minikube as cluster Kubernetes. Uh, also, as UI part, we I, I used uh, Actant, but also is uh, there is such a, also tools like uh, Kubernetes dashboards, Lens, KNNS, and. Uh, um, other <laughs> yeah you are going to show it uh, live this is just a slide yeah it is not really interesting we are going to switch to screen screen sharing soon please go ahead okay <clears throat> uh, can you stop sharing here okay so uh this is sectant now i'm uh, just uh, deploy some uh, application um, and here is here we can see some uh, ports replica sets you have everything deployed yeah ingress controller i have enough and uh replica uh, and network policy um, can you maybe also we have a uh, lens for example uh, lens can also connect to uh, some uh, some clusters uh, it's uh, used uh, cube config in their own uh what config we need uh, to use we need uh, to create uh, to deployment file file network policy and embrace yaml in uh, customization yaml we need in uh, uh, we need uh, to write uh, our uh, password for uh, mysql and other resource is it secured so In customization YAML, we can see a uh, password for MySQL with the same password. 
and resource that we need deploying. It's, uh, I think, <laughs> Is it, it's plain text. Uh, do Kubernetes uh, have anything to uh, for password uh, storage and encryption of uh, sensitive data? Uh, yes, of course, it's uh, secrets. Here is there is password to my uh, base, to my, uh, yeah, to my database. Uh, and uh, that will be like this. Yeah. I see. So, uh, about uh, pods, let's start, uh, it's easy. First of all, I want to check uh, database. It will be empty because I want to uh, check it. Okay, so What are you going to do? I want, uh, oh, sorry. I want to show you that database is empty and then uh, create some, uh, in some uh, posts in your breast, uh, then uh, show you again that uh, it's, uh, Post in uh, database stored. Uh, after that, uh, delete pods with MySQL, uh, and then show again that uh, this is uh, this is post safe in MySQL because it's stateful set uh, workload with uh, uh, in, uh, with uh, storage with persistent volume. Yeah. Let's do things in order. Uh, what do you need first? Mm. Some stateful set, I, I suppose. I am really new to Kubernetes. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, uh, you need to deploy some stateful service and uh, then uh, some stateless services like uh, WordPress, uh, whatever. So, do you need MySQL for this? Yes, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, do you really need a command line? Uh, okay, proceed. So, that is empty. Okay. Uh, I'm back to service, and uh, now I want uh, to create something. For example. I see it One works. And, uh, I want uh, to add some new. Okay. Now, now we have two posts, for example, yeah? Okay. 
and I want to make sure that uh, new post save in database. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, we believe you. Okay. So what next? Really stubborn. Yeah. So uh, next, I want just remove this code, and then wait. Oh uh, yeah, it's running. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I need to again connect to my database. It's five files to deploy this stuff. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. And database is not empty after uh, deleting pods. Can you delete the database pod? Yeah, yeah. WordPress, MySQL. Again, <laughs> I can do it uh, a lot of time. Also, please do. Can... Huh? Please do. Okay. One moment, I just. Mm -hmm. Here, here is, and the new pods with the database. It's um, happened immediately. Yeah. Uh, also, we have two replica sets. Oh. One database and two. WordPress, yeah. Okay. How many lines uh, are your files? Nearly one moment. Just... Not so big, I see. It's in 68. It's deployment file for uh, WordPress. It's depends uh, deploy uh, service and persistent volume. Um, MySQL uh, also the, includes uh, service, deployment, and that's all. Right. What is network policy? Network policy is policy uh, to isolate uh, our database from other pods. For example, if uh, I will have uh, another pods, for example, I don't know, some pods with uh, some other application that this pods can connect to, to uh, my database. So, so it's kind of isolation. Yeah. And uh, 
in grass. Also, we have secret, uh, yeah, secrets I show you, and 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 yeah, is that uh, all for my little demo? <laughs> if I want, for example, to change account of uh, replicas, I just uh, change my deploy file and then uh, redeploy application using kubectl. I've seen it many times. Yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, we, now we can check that uh, we have one pods of request. It's easy. I'd like to say I was really surprised and impressed with uh, Octant. Really good tool, really helpful, really useful. Okay, uh, let's do not spend waste time, I, I'd say. And uh, I'd like to show what is uh, I can, I have done with the Nomad, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure, just a moment. I just sure to, uh, describe some lens because uh, it's a uh, new tools for me too and it's very uh, interesting as for me because it looks like a tent but uh, have some difference for example uh, for example to use uh, some uh, customized uh, cube config in a tent you need to uh, do some uh, very interesting things with uh, configuration of Actant, but uh, Lens uh, see all your uh, local uh, cube configuration, and it's very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Metro, feel free. Thank you. Okay, so I'm, I'm grabbing. I'm so sorry I pushed the wrong button. Uh, so I'm sharing screen. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, here, uh, okay, single binary. Uh, single binary for server and for agent. You can run it, uh, it depends. Also, it uh, has another mode, the third mode, which uh, can be executed with simple command, like nomad agent minus dev. Uh, and th this uh, would start uh, the nomad agent. Uh, it will be a client and server uh, in one uh, box uh, yeah uh, i yeah i will switch to another console terminal window and let it run here uh, the same workload here uh for to not to not lie it is uh, only four config files with um, actual Nomad uh, configuration, but there is uh, another one uh, which is actual Nomad configuration uh, of configuration of the server and client. Uh, what is the benefit to use uh, agent uh, minus dev mode uh, when you do this you uh, effectively uh, got uh, two uh, entities like server who schedule and who assign the um, tasks to 
his to its clients. Nomad is a cluster management tool uh, and workload scheduling. So you can have um, one from one to uh, even uh, infinity uh, number of servers that are that uh, would have uh, their clients uh, and uh, will spread the load among these uh, clients uh, knowing the what their resources are and uh, there are two uh, modes two types of this uh, scheduling uh, one of them is a spread loading uh, spread scheduling and another one is a bin packing spread loading uh, is um, when you spread your uh, workload among resources you have uh, without um, care of uh, over consuming of those resources because if you use bin packing you will deploy and schedule your workload to the nodes um, as tight as possible. So uh, you will uh, benefit from resources of your clients uh, to the uh, full, uh, maybe to the full extent. Uh, and <clears throat> then uh, let's proceed. Um, Right now, it is not uh, really a uh, matter because uh, Kubernetes can do the same and it, it's functionality from the box. Uh, when, I just, when I just started to work uh, on this uh, workload and uh, figure out uh, how can I do this with Nomad, uh, what uh, came first? Uh, we need to have some uh, stateful set uh, and in case of uh, local host we can uh, use um, host folder host uh, disk it's it's easy uh, but uh, what is important about nomad here uh, nomad uh, like a, a kubernetes in exactly same manner supports uh, plugins uh, which storage interfaces and network interfaces uh, uh, plugins so everything that is uh, that exists for kubernetes like a, um, not uh, disk claims storage claims when you uh, can uh, connect plugin and use some storage from whatever you want it depends on plugin like uh, EBS from AWS and uh, NFS and uh, whatever you want there are plenty of plugins uh, the same for network actually uh, so Nomad supports all of them in the same manner as Kubernetes do so uh, in this, um, from this perspective, they are equal. Uh, but Kubernetes, uh, but Nomad isn't mature enough. Uh, it, uh, I found out that in order to have um, these um, volumes, this storage, uh, this storage for me, to have them, uh, to make them persistent over uh, the reboot and so on. Uh, it, uh, it turned out that we just don't want to use dev uh, mode. Uh, so so uh, it was really disappointing because dev mode uh, is uh, really quick and nice. Uh, you can just spawn it, uh, do whatever you want, and then shut it down. And it, it collect all the garbage uh, after itself. Uh, yes, it's really um, so ephemeral. 
but in case you need some volumes, you need to add them to the configuration file. You need to compose configuration file for the Nomad. And uh, you, if you want to add some plugins, uh, you need to specify them in this uh, global configuration for Nomad. Uh, what does it actually mean? Um, we have a server and uh, in exactly on in this node we we can run uh, these workloads as well. Uh, let me show you. We can just uh, simply specify how many servers we want to have and uh, uh, but this uh, would require another options like um where are those servers uh, and to have them auto discovered uh, we you need to have console you need to have console for everything for any other thing uh, that is um, really required for modern work workload you must have um, you must have it so what I will do next, uh, as it turned out, it it is not thing I need. So I'm going to here another window. Uh, okay, no mat agent agent minus. Oh no, it is not here. Okay. No mad. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. It must be here. No, 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 no. Yeah, here. I just started with configuration. I specify the config file and let it work, let it run. It uh, will start uh, soon. It uh, will not take long. Yeah, it, it is completed. Uh, what is good uh, about servers, uh, Nomad servers, uh, they completely synchronized, um, they have quorum and the, all the jobs that you put on uh, one server are effectively uh, synchronized over all the servers. Uh, so you can see uh, what is a cluster actual uh, workload, uh, actual load uh, from whatever server you uh, want. Yes, uh, it's, it's replicated information. So uh, Nomad is started. Uh, what is good about Nomad? You, you can run, you can see what is Nomad status, no running jobs. And you can see agent, agent status. It is, Either server, yes. Client, client. Mm, okay. It's different syntax, but my favorite one. No, my UI. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. You started it and you can jump into UI uh, immediately. Uh, in, mm, despite no, um, Kubernetes uh, have has uh, a lot of uh, UI and uh, some this kind of tools that helps you uh, to manage it. Uh, there is no uh, one tool that uh, cover everything and do it like uh, it you want maybe. Nomad isn't really um, so popular now, and uh, there are not so not so many uh, interfaces, uh, and it so it uh, ships its own, and uh, you can use it. It's it available immediately. So let's start with some jobs. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we need to have console we can deploy console uh, right from the ui it's a really simple configuration of the job you just name it uh, data centers is a uh, important uh, and uh, mandatory um, option uh, it um, 
you can run a cluster of clusters with Nomad and it uh, should not be difficult as they uh, tell us. I didn't try. I just want to run was one con one console uh, job, and I will use driver raw exec. Yes. Um, what uh, if, what is when is nomad different? Uh, it is uh, when we speak about what it can run and um, why it is uh, good. Uh, Kubernetes can run only uh, containers. Yes, only containers and the uh, Nomad can run different drivers. Uh, raw exec driver uh, allows you to run everything uh, you want uh, from not containerized and no, not routed in somehow. So you just specify what is comment in your shell, uh, defines arguments and the uh, Artifacts is another uh, option that allows you to uh, set uh, what is the source of uh, what you need to download first, where what you need to configure. And uh, yeah, in this case, it's only uh, download of the zip source file. It will be an archived automatically. Nomad handles it. So I just copied this information, puts here and plan. It said it is will be new job and allocation are going to start. Uh, actually, you also need Vault to uh, handle all the secrets management. But Vault is uh, different uh, and uh, another feature-rich thing too. And uh, I am not going to focus on it and I'm not going to show it and use it. Uh, console would be enough. Console is required here because we need to do a service discovery and it will help us. Oh, it failed. <laughs> you can see it's I don't know what happened it, it haven't failed not <laughs> it is not fair okay so folks I don't know what is it okay Let's try to do this again and uh, it's deployment, all locations, and here you can see. A good little investigate what happened. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, could we investigate what happened? It's interesting. Probably. Uh, how can we investigate? Uh, yeah, we can do this, but what is uh, truth is you need to use to it first, and it takes time. It exactly as with uh, Kubernetes. Kubernetes is uh, more maybe monstrous, but uh, it. Uh, it end up, end up uh, in a situation uh, when you need to um, choose uh, what uh, what you like more. Maybe it's Kubernetes way or it is a Nomad way. I don't know why it is failed, but I can show you that here is the job. The job is a, a top uh, entity in uh, cons in Nomad. And uh, here are definition of this job. I have pasted the short version of it. If you uh, review the definition here, you can see that there is uh, some uh, records that was presented in the original file and everything else is uh, some defaults. 
versions uh, is um, versions of your job. So every time when you deploy a new version of the jobs, it um, basically means that you have a config that is changed uh, versions would uh, display it. We'll see it, I think. Uh, then uh, evaluations, just a log which is not really useful. Allocations is a good tab. It uh, shows that Nomad tried to, to run this uh, console job for for three times and fail fail at all the three uh, so it uh, will uh, it, it will uh, do more attempts to run it but it will fail okay let's see what we can do here okay now my status. Now it uh, shows up that here is a console service. Uh, its status, it, it is not healthy. We just, what we can do with it? We can do nomad jobs, stop, uh, minus porch, and Let's do it. Nomad job stop purge. It will wipe out the job from the nomad. It should. Yes, here is no jobs anymore. I'm sorry, I need to check if I maybe have anything uh, ran from recent. Uh, my experiments it's nomad yeah here we go um, what i can do here i can just stop this one and uh, let's see again yeah it's very bad but uh, nomad isn't mature yet it uh, just started, I would say. They uh, have, um, they are really loud that, uh, whoa, you don't need Kubernetes. We now, we have a nomad. You, you just need to try. I tried. I, I'm not gonna lie. It is really, is really uh, not so stable right now and this uh, you can see this on what is going on right now okay i can try you have to... console agent run you should kill it before i try to start one more time yeah i'm going to kill everything and uh, so the, one more time all that stuff It just didn't want to, to stop. Maybe it is. And start it again. Okay. UI is here. It, it went nowhere. Okay, we can do the same thing another time. So let's see, okay, okay, and okay. Maybe this time. It's running. This time it worked. It started and uh, few seconds ago and you can see when your allocations of your job uh, now desired uh, value 
uh, equal to the healthy way to placed value and equal to the healthy value. Uh, it's a state that Nomad tries to achieve. You want uh, some number of uh, tasks and it, uh, it does it for you. Uh, what is uh, a little bit weird here, uh, when you look at the job uh, page, uh, you can see recent allocations. It may even be confusing because you see uh, at the same time and failed uh, tasks and running tasks and uh, it uh, more like a mess. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you just need to... Uh, to get used to it. And uh, you need to understand that here are uh, recent tasks, tasks that are uh, not running now. They uh, were uh, completed with some results. You can see how the soon, how good tasks are presented there. So nothing interesting right here here so uh, i started the nomad with a config file and deployed console there uh, as i said i am not going to set up vault so what i can do i can push the exact button and it allows me to work with a task with a in a some chirruted environment the connection connection is closed i i would say it's a bug it happened uh, from time to time you just reopen it and here you go i want to jump to nomad uh, task directory it is uh, specific to every job uh, here are a task directory, a secrets directory. You can store some information in a directory uh, that belongs to the job and which is not available to uh, anything uh, outside this job. And uh, even more, you just can't um, read uh, files. Uh, even within job, only Nomad can do that. Uh, why I, I have jumped here? Uh, because we have a console installed. Console does nothing uh, after the installation, but it will provide us uh, some, net, uh, some discovery because, because it, it will work uh, with, uh, in a couple with uh, Nomad. They are integrated and integrated in intimately. So uh, it's uh, really tight and really close integration uh, that you even can't um, figure out simply. You need to read uh, a lot uh, and go through the documentation and uh, obtain some experience to get some experience with uh, all these tools before you can uh, say, before you can run some uh, di more difficult workloads. And uh, so uh, at the same time, uh, uh, okay, um, Kubernetes is hard, is difficult, but it is become easier with some UI tools, with some integrations that are in place and available from the box. Nomad isn't so good right now. It has some, but not so many. So I just want to run console to, uh, what is the purpose? To um, place the secret for my SQL here. I, I'll show you what I mean. Let's define it first like this. Secret is here, and now console kv put my SQL 
password. Uh, I'm creating the key values store uh, and the actual password that I just created. Right, success. The data is in key value of uh, the console. Uh, then I can leave this windows. The next one. The next one should be my SQL job. Uh, here you can see the same. The same definition. Uh, it's name, data center type, the service type. The service type is uh, jobs that run constantly. They, uh, they have listeners and uh, should be available, uh, should be monitored. Uh, there are possibility to run batch jobs, some parametrized jobs uh, like Jenkins do. Uh, some, and here is volume. Uh, these volumes uh, were first described in the nomad conf file here, volume. It's a host volume that just point to the, some folder, uh, read only false, so it is uh, right there, we can write there. And uh, this volume with his name is, uh, should be in this job. Source is a reference to the to the option to the original uh, name of the uh, volume from the nomad conf yes it's type host it's a uh, it's a lot of duplicating configuration here uh, it may become really confusing restart block uh, says to us uh, how many attempts with which interval delay uh, and uh, all, there are options and other options. You need to uh, try to run uh, this task uh, and uh, disregard the failures to and then wait and try again. Try again and uh, you would you will uh, give up after some attempts. I just uh, I, I give it only one. So let's proceed. Uh, task jobs uh, have groups of tasks. So we have a group within job. In this group is can is composed is com uh, containing uh, tasks. One of these tasks is a uh, uh, WordPress MySQL entity which uh, runs the MySQL server. We can we will use Docker here uh, in the opposite to the console when we where we used uh, raw exec uh, driver. Uh, here we we will be like a Kubernetes workload. Volume mount. Uh, yes, it wasn't enough to define a volume here. Now we should uh, do the volume mount here and uh, referen uh, reference that uh, volume will be this one. Destination, just uh, set the destination to this task uh, and it will be effectively uh, mounted to the Docker. And some config of this task uh, that uh, says, uh, tells us that we need to have image of MySQL. It's a image from Docker Hub and do a port mapping. And the uh, ports uh, configuration uh, has names uh, like it has a, in a Kubernetes and uh, modern orchestrations uh, systems. And team, template, it uh, doesn't look actually good. Uh, I would say, Kubernetes uh, may be a little bit pretty uh, with, the, with its configurations, uh, configs, but uh, okay. Uh, HashiCorp has uh, such um, ideology like this, like this, uh, everything with everything. So templates are in line. Uh, you can uh, define what 
will be the MySQL credentials, MySQL um, configuration for the task. Uh, just with uh, writing them into the file using the same uh, variable, environment variable that will be uh, evaluated into the directory where the nomad will run this task. It will be allocation with some UIU ID pass, uh, long pass, and it's not really human friendly. Uh, anyway, we here create the file with uh, passwords that we uh, that we grab from the console. So it is a syntax, it's a feature. Uh, it's a possibility to work with console uh, key value storage uh, this way. Also, you can work with a uh, vault uh, with a similar way. Uh, it's uh, just a one ideology under the hood. And destination for the template stanza uh, means that all this information will be added to the file env. And this record says that everything that is in this file uh, will be exposed to the environment variables. Uh, I um, added here no med task gear, but um, I need uh, I'd, uh, better to add uh, nomad secret deer. Secret deer, as I mentioned, uh, it is really secret and available only to nomad to read, but I will not do this right now. But believe me, it works. Uh, resources. As long as uh, nomad is a <laughs> workload scheduler, uh, you can define and uh, Almost every job have these uh, from far from what I've seen uh, so far. Uh, everyone uh, defines these parameters and defines the uh, one more neat network configuration with named ports and uh, actual record. Uh, there are um, different kind of network configuration. What is uh, interesting, they are uh, really complicated. They are uh, not so easy to get uh, from the first time, but, uh, in, but they are not uh, anything uh, extraordinary. So I actually think they would implement this uh, a little bit easier. So service, service. the service uh, block uh, is a block that um, comes from console and works with console. Uh, because here you, the name uh, means uh, the name in the uh, in service catalog of console defines it here and you got it, you get it within console catalog. And uh, when you uh, set up uh, many services, you you effectively have uh, them in console. And this is the way to do a service discovery. You define the name. It uh, went. It uh, goes to goes to the console catalog, and all ta all jobs within Nomad uh, speaks to console. And uh, uh, they, they can uh, ask them what is, where uh, is this service? Uh, what are hosts of it? Okay, and port is a reference to the uh, previously defined ports. It's time to run it at last. Okay, we can run uh, it from here from this time. But it's not really a problem. I just for diversity. Nomad job run. Um, and we need to file just a file of the job. Nomad uh, WordPress MySQL job. So Desired, placed, healthy, and healthy. As you can see, prompt 
is no is not there is no uh, terminal prompt yet because the job is start when you see the active deployment it means it is not yet ready it is ready now it is ready uh, what is um, i found out uh, when you where you had like to look at uh, first it's really allocations allocations latest allocations click here and here you can find tasks the tasks uh, i was describing click on them and you can see here the volumes, resources, current memory utilization, and some re recent events. Maybe they here they are not so uh, verbose, not so um, uh, clear, but sometimes they uh, are become clear, more clear because uh, in, uh, in case of failures, some uh, important information can can appear here and there. Uh, logs. You can read the logs from the containers from STD out and STDR. Uh, I'm not going to say this is really handy, but it, it's the way it works. Here, files is these folders actually. Um, helps uh, and uh, they are expanded uh, from environment vari variables uh, that I used before. Nomad task dear, nomad uh, secrets dear. Secrets here, nothing is secrets. I haven't placed it there. I couldn't read it in this case. I uh, placed the, the file add.env into local directory. This local directory is a directory of nomad task dear. And I can read it here. This information was uh, successfully evaluated, placed into file, and uh, then uh, set as environment variables. You can see there. I created the password and you no one see what it was. Uh, I just demonstrated it to, I don't know, just demonstration. Uh, next, good. WordPress is, uh, MySQL is running. It's time to deploy, uh, here you can see how the MySQL, uh, is uh, deployed its stuff onto the folders, uh, storage volumes. The next file would be WordPress web. WordPress web. Uh, we, we are going to run two, set, two instances, two um, tasks. Uh, to group of tasks. So it is one job, WordPress web, and group of tasks count is two. It means that we won't run two group of tasks. And uh, uh, <clears throat> what uh, it depends on what um, mode or type of uh, deployment you use. Uh, spreading or bin packing. Spreading is a default one. Uh, here is only one uh, local host, but believe me, uh, if you have two uh, nodes of Nomad and you uh, define two groups of tasks to run, uh, like a replica sets, it play it will place them on different clients um, and place them on one in case of bin packing. So WordPress volume again, it's uh, just a WordPress um, case because it uh, needs to uh, have uh, its persistent volume too for uh, its uh, stuff, uh, uh, files and uh, some, some other stuff, not, uh, not database stored. 
but just file stored. Uh, <clears throat> so it's here and it's uh, uh, Docker as well. Uh, volume mounts, nothing interesting. Uh, template again, template again. Um, okay, it's, oh, I, I left. It should be um, a little bit uh, other, uh, not like this, but whatever. WordPress DB host, we define the information uh, required for WordPress to uh, get its work done uh, with connect to the database and uh, set up everything else. We use to play it again. And uh, to the range should not be here, uh, uh, it mm, doesn't matter. It's a query to the console service. It's a console integration. You would never know uh, what is what kind of integration it is. Is it uh, belong to console or, it, it, or is it for vault? Uh, Sure, you will figure out it and find out it soon. But for the first, uh, at the first sight, uh, it's not really uh, so 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 clear and and bright. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and this actually means that uh, we just grab from the console address of the service WordPress MySQL. Uh, service for press MySQL. Here it is. Here it is. Service. Here is its name. It's defined here and checks. Also health checks. Uh, describe it here because it's a console stuff. It it does uh, these checks. Um, and okay. Web again destination and environment variables i i am i'm doing the same thing store them in in this file and config uh, tells us that uh, image will be wordpress and port mapping will, will be just 80 but uh, here http it's a uh, internal ports uh, image runs and uh, listen uh, original application does it uh, but resources uh, it's a uh, nomad stuff it's a nomad block and it defines that a network for this job for this group uh, will be named as http and ports are uh, random ports randomly assigned uh, for the docker containers and service again uh, we need to define uh, to set port http as well and one more time i don't know why but okay and uh, let's make it quicker let's run this job too okay nomad wordpress It's too desired group of tasks. Let's jump to the UI. WordPress web. Deployment is on the go. Oh, it's done. It's really, it was really quick. Okay. Okay, I promised you to show the locations running, running. It's, uh, it's, it's good. When it, I just switched to three count. When I saved the configuration, I just do the nomad run the job one more time and three is desired now. You don't need to uh, reload uh, anything just uh, save the new configuration and to put it to the here are wordpress data is uh, installing what we got here three health is replaced and uh, three allocations 
where are my previous ones i wanted to see them okay i just show you the deployments uh here are, it even has versions of the deployments and uh, some hashes but it is not hashes you can uh, find anything you uh, think of you can find them <laughs> I, I haven't able to figure out what are these hashes. Yeah. And uh, what is the uh, uh, purpose of this screen isn't uh, really clear to me too. Uh, here you can see the current allocations running. And uh, yes, this information is good. Why do we, you need deployments and definition and versions? Uh, the same of the same thing it's not really clear but i can tell you here you can see the change between these deployments deployments just show you uh, the uh, overall dashboard how it uh, what it was uh, before the de deployment uh, or uh, some times ago you can see the timestamps and desired items and so on, but not so not so maybe useful, but somehow sometimes. So yeah, you can revert it from the versions for to the previous version, uh, and it will be done uh, automatically uh, because roll rollbacks uh, are included. Uh, deployments are. Uh, it's rolling deployments. Uh, uh, there are different types uh, you can choose, uh, but it's basically the same. Uh, nothing extraordinary. Kubernetes can do this, and many other things can do this. Definition is uh, the same job, as, but uh, with uh, more words. Uh, if you haven't haven't had enough uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah we can now we can see we can uh, navigate we can open our workload uh, website no not yet there are three tasks uh, three containers actually uh, and uh, we can <clears throat> We just don't want to use one of them. We want to use three of them, and we need ingress controller for this. And the late last uh, config file that describes simple Nginx job. One load balancer with a support HTTP static exposed to, uh, to the world and service name it Nginx uh, with uh, that described but, uh, again driver is docker and configuration for image and ports and volumes uh, it's a local volume uh, is it is it uh, uh, okay local volume tasks yes it's it persists but you uh, cannot define uh, where uh, to, uh, to place it um, it's like a docker volume and template again this time template uh, includes the config for nginx itself so upstream wordpress and the uh, range service here a range is a correct uh, placement uh, you have a wordpress web, web services uh, they are three actually and uh, you just uh, can you can you can uh, loop over these services in console and grab their addresses and ports as they are registered uh, on console and paste uh, here uh, with server uh, the directive directive uh, to create a set a list of uh, available uh, services for the e load balancer uh, and then uh, follows the uh, common configuration for nginx uh, with proxy pass uh, directive as it uh, do do reverse proxying of everything back to, back to you and the destination 
Great, run it. Dimitro, I'm so sorry, we have just seven minutes before the end. Yep. It's the uh, last one, and uh, then, wash. Ah, shit, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do this from UI. Run the job. Line it and run it. It's starting and uh, it's already running. So it, it works and uh, it, uh, okay, healthy. I wanted to show you one thing, files, location. No, one moment, nginx. It's allocations and uh, yeah, tasks here and files here and local here is load balancer configuration here it grabs all the three uh, <clears throat> services available uh, because they are three now and uh, place it under the upstream block for the nginx uh, everything that comes to the ingress uh, the this ingress uh, load balancer uh, would be uh, redistributed uh, load balance it over the three tasks. And it uh, seems like we are ready to try it. Uh, it's uh, WordPress web. Yeah, it's WordPress web service. WordPress uh, web service. Yeah, right. Hmm, that would be good. I think it's, it's, it's the end because I, I've done everything that I want to done and uh, <clears throat> uh, install very weak confirm. One or more database tables are unavailable. The database may need to be repaired. I don't know what does it mean. Uh, it wasn't happened to me yet, uh, but it's something looks like. <laughs> I don't know, folks, uh, but you can see it works uh, at least uh, uh, here. Um, it is not, uh, it, no, it doesn't look like it uh, have no connection to the database. It just complaining that something is, is wrong with uh, database uh, at, at all, because it, uh, it reported in case you have, a, have no connection to the database, it reported uh, exactly this uh issue that it cannot contact to the database so maybe i missed something uh i have i have done it before it uh, really works i don't want to figure out what's happening here now uh, i we are going to share with sergey our configuration maybe you just want to give it a try and uh okay it's uh it's pretty much it. Uh, I will open this uh, window and uh, I even don't back to the presentation. Uh, what can be summary here? What can be uh, conclusions here? Uh, uh, my personal is Kubernetes is more uh, mature. Kubernetes is, um, despite the fact of its complexity and overwhelming uh, number of uh, models, uh, sets, and uh, uh, tools, uh, helpers tool, and uh, everything, everything, and everything, 
um, <clears throat> it's really uh, it looks more stable, more mature to me. But Nomad is really awesome in case you need to run some legacy applications or legacy services. You can do this uh, with drivers. You can run Java application. You can you can use Chirrut. You can uh, run uh, Docker's, and um, the list isn't full. Uh, I don't know. I'd like to ask Sergey and after his answer, I'd like to hear you guys. Sergey, what is your opinion? What is, what is simple? Uh, I don't know, because for me, simple is Docker, oh, is, sorry, it's uh, Kubernetes, because uh, I start uh, with it and, uh, and that's all. And <laughs> I don't know in what case I can use Nomad. Uh, but I agree with you about uh, support of legacy, uh, support of legacy, because it's very important. Um, I think post technology uh, flexible and uh, flexible, yeah. But um, you need to understand are, in what task you need to uh, set up it. For are they purpose. simple? Uh, so, so it needs um, more, uh, uh, more, uh, more. <laughs> uh, Here is good picture. It's difficult because it needs uh, a little attention to set up it. We use yeah. uh, the vault and. Uh, My general uh, opinion on it: there is no real simplicity. You need to figure out many things. And uh, if someone tells you that Nomad is much simpler than Kubernetes, it is not really true. Uh, it can be, it, it uh, from the first look, yeah, from the first sight, it may, be, may, may look like this but trust me uh, in case you need to set up all the secrets management all the ingresses deployment replicas and uh, many 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 things uh, uh, not mention service mesh for example yeah you can run the service mesh yeah you can use storage uh, uh, interfaces storage adapters uh, as uh, the kubernetes uh, do uh, and Let's uh, do not forget that Kubernetes is eight times uh, popular. It's eight times more popular than um, Nomad uh, if, um, from the stars uh, on GitHub. Yes, there are forks and uh, stars. Kubernetes have, has uh, uh, 80,000 of stars. Uh, while uh, when the nomad uh, only um, ten or so, or maybe maybe less. Uh, so, and it is not so cool, if we, if we can call it cool, uh, without all other HashiCorp stuff, and the the integration with the all other stuff is a um, really tricky thing. So from in the eyes of a newbie, I am really newbie, guys, uh, in Kubernetes and, uh, and in Nomad. Uh, this makes me mad, actually. Uh, nothing is simple at all. But uh, if you need to choose something, choose whatever you want. But Kubernetes is more mature technology right now and if you don't want to spend time on learning uh, many things uh, that you even don't plan to learn just wanted to to see what is kubernetes and uh, or what is nomad and try it it is not the case you should know more really really more so it's uh, it's that's it from me thanks for attention guys